Yo, what is going on, you whack worm pool? Before we get into today's video, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be opening not one, but two Chilling Rain booster boxes. So shout out to Pokemon for these. They hooked me up uh, with both of these. I'm going to be opening them tomorrow live on stream, twitch.tv slash AzulGG. First link in the description. Give it a click. Give it a follow. Not only will I be opening them live on stream, I'm going to be giving away all of the hits that I hit in here. The gold cards, the full arts, the alternate arts, the Vs, the V maxes. Whatever, I'm giving away all of the cards. So if you guys want some free cards, because who doesn't, um, be sure to tune into the live stream. I'll be opening both of these after the uh, Limitless tournament that's happening tomorrow. So I'll be playing in the Limitless tournament. I think it starts at like 10 a.m. Um, and then as soon as I win the tournament or I'm eliminated, I'll be opening the booster boxes. So be sure to come out for that. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Let's talk about Ray Heels. All right, guys, just like I mentioned, and just like the title of the video says, Ray Eels is back, or basically back. And if you used to play all the way back then when Ray Eels was legal, um, you'll understand what I mean when I say Ray Eels is back once I go over the cards that are coming out. So let's go over the first one, the Eel, but it's actually a Flaffy uh, here with the ability Dynamotor, which is the exact same name of the ability that Electric used to have, and it does the exact same thing. Once during your turn, you may attach a Lightning Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Stage one, um, some of you who have only been playing the game more recently will probably compare this card to Malamar, which has the same ability that um, Electric had way back in the day. So it's been a while since Electric's been around. Um, you've maybe seen it expanded. Of course, you've also maybe never heard of Electric or have no idea what it does, but it basically does exactly what Flaffy does. It even has the same amount of HP that Flaffy has. It had 90 HP as well, uh, which means not only is le was, was Electric level ballable, but Flaffy is also level ballable, which will definitely be played, I feel like, in this new iteration of Ray Eels or Laquaza? Uh... Rayafi? I don't even know what we're gonna call it. Maybe we'll just call it Ray Eels because that sounds cooler than anything you can come up with Flaffy's name. But um the next part of the next part of it is the Rayquaza, the Rayquaza V Max. We can talk about the V first, I guess. Not too interesting, but we'll go over it. Uh the Dragon Pulse, 40 damage for a lightning. Discard the top two cards of your deck, so pretty bad. Uh, and then uh fire lightning. I almost said red, but the R is for the fire. Fire lightning, 20 damage plus. Uh, you may discard up to two basic fire or lightning energies attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each energy discarded in this way. So you can get up to 180 damage KO stuff like Crobat. Uh, can't take any KOs on really any of the Vs. Uh, and you could take a 2 a KO on a V Max, but uh, yeah, not the most powerful attack. But of course, the V Max is where the, uh, the real power is coming in here uh, with that 320 HP Dragon type. So actually, Dragon types are back as well. They haven't printed Dragon types for like four or five sets a few sets um i was kind of thinking that they maybe just were done with dragon types and they just didn't make an announcement about it like they did with fairy types and i would have been fine with that but it looks like dragon types are back and uh seem to be well this one seems to be pretty powerful the other ones eh, we'll see all right let's get into it sky high wave is the ability once on your turn you may discard all cards from your hand if you do draw three cards and it's not limited to once per turn so you could have four rayquaza v maxes set up I don't know how you got four of them set up. You're probably cheating. Stop that. Uh, but you could go discard your hand, draw three. 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 So super strong ability to prevent yourself from ever really dead drawing um, or having your opponent kind of disrupt your setup um, or kind of like lock you out of the game with like, I don't know, bossing something up. Uh, stamp isn't going to be a card when Rick is around. So if we do get any other new hand disruption card, it'll be hard to trap or stop. Uh, the Rayquaza VMAX deck from just drawing cards and doing whatever they want to do. And then, of course, the attack where the real power is coming in. Uh, the G Max burst for a fire and a lightning, just like the V. You may discard any number of basic fire or lightning energy from this Pokemon. Uh, this attack does 80 damage for each energy discarded in this way. So, unlimited damage cap, the fire or the lightning. You'll definitely play more lightning than fire energy in this deck. And unlike the old Rayquaza EX, where it made you choose between fire or lightning. The Rayquaza VMAX can discard fire and lightning from it. So you can discard your fire alongside your lightning to do 80, 80 damage times the amount of energy you discarded, you know, plus the 20 from the base. Uh, and of course, that's why it combos so well with the Flaffy. You discard all of your lightning energy or all of your energy, and then you reload up with Flaffy, get the energy back in play on the Rayquaza VMAX, and you're just cooking once again, or, or a different Rayquaza VMAX. Probably not the same one. You might have like two set up, one in the active, one on the bench, whatever. You get what I'm saying. New one comes in, hits one KO, and uh, you go on from there. So yeah, really powerful card coming out and uh, printed with another very powerful card to go with it in the Flaffy. But there's more for this deck. Um, and like I said, we're going to talk about the couple of the other cards here in a second as well. Uh, 
but then we also got these stormy range so some of you have played with Brooklyn Hill some of you probably haven't it's a little bit of an older card still sometimes played in expanded but not very often uh, once during each player's turn that player may search their deck for a basic lightning or uh, dragon Pokemon and put it onto their bench then that player shuffles their deck so exactly like Brooklyn Hill but for lightning and dragon Pokemon and for the Rayquaza deck that's a dragon or that's a dragon that's a dragon basic and then uh, to get to Flaffy you need Mareep that's a lightning basic so gonna be an insane support or stadium to play in the Ray Eels Ray Laffy uh, whatever the Rayquaza plus lightning acceleration Pokemon dot deck um yeah the stormy range is gonna be insanely powerful in there um i'm excited for it this is really cool um i hope it's not too powerful and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be i think there's gonna be a lot of uh things that could definitely go wrong i mean it's two stage ones um and you have to constantly be able to remove the rayquazas around while getting enough energy on the next rayquaza to attack with i hope it's not a reshiram situation where it looks like it can do a ton of damage consistently and then it just kind of sucks so hopefully it's not a <laughs> Hopefully it is not a repeat of the Reshiram situation here with Rayquaza VMAX. And it is a good, powerful card, not broken, not OP, just another good deck in the format. I'd love to see it. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be tons of other stuff we can do with the Flaffy besides pairing it with Rayquaza VMAX. I'm sure this, this Flaffy is going to have a ton of potential besides pairing it with Rayquaza VMAX. So I can't wait to see what else just kind of comes out of Flaffy. I don't think Rayquaza VMAX is going to get paired with anything else besides the Flaffy. But um, yeah, super strong. And the Flaffy's there to support it. So let's get into a couple of the other cards. There are some other cards that got leaked as well. Of course, the Ray Eel combo uh, is the big, big talk of the town right now. And I'm sure if you guys haven't heard about it for the first time here, you've already heard about it. Uh, but let's get talk about Dragon Eye V. It's not super powerful, but I expect there will be a Dragon Eye V Max at some point. And actually, the second attack, 250 is is quite a bit of damage. The energy cost a little bit awkward though. I feel like so it's got the 230 HP uh, slash for 50 damage. Isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So got basically the shred attack there. Uh, and then we got the water water lightning for 250 that's a lot of damage that KOs pretty much any V in the format which could which is a pretty good thing to be able to do this attack does 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon so decent drawback there uh the the thing I'm most concerned about how do you get double water and a lightning on to the Dragonite V though that's what I'm wondering how are we doing that how are we getting that energy onto the Dragonite V and like I said I assume there's going to be a Dragonite V Max what does that do and how good is that going to be that's going to be the bigger question i think i don't think you're going to be able to run dragon iv by itself but if there is a vmax how good is the vmax and can we can set can we set it up and consistently attack with it so another question for when the vmax comes out um i assume there will be a vmax i guess i don't know for sure don't take my word for it uh let's take a look a little further down uh we got the zinnia's resolve you may discard two cards from your hand in order to play this card draw one card for each of your opponent's pokemon in play so it's okay uh as a draw supporter and yeah i'm not too hype on it it's like marnie and research are just going to be better <laughs> like you just open up early on in the game or your opponent knows you play zinnia's resolve and they're just like it's not going to bench pokemon you can draw like two cards if you want like not going to be very powerful i don't think um the most powerful part about it might be the discard two cards from your hand part that might be the biggest draw to want to play this card um and it might be very if right yields is very good they want to fill their bench right so might be able to play resilience resolve is almost like a, a counter supporter to that should be able to allow you to draw a bunch of cards uh, on top of your current hand instead of having to shuffle or discard it back into the or shuffle it back into the deck or discard it uh moving right along we got the altaria with the luring search ability once in your turn you may search your deck for a supporter card reveal it shuffle the rest of your deck and put that supporter card on top of your deck so pretty good it's not terrible it's it, but putting it on top of your deck makes it makes it awkward to utilize we have primate wisdom right now but that means you're setting up an altaria which isn't an attacker nor does it add damage to your field and you're setting up a primate wisdom on your bench as well which once again it's not your main attacker and it doesn't really like add more damage or utility to your attacking pokemon it's a lot to set up to put a supporter on top of your deck i guess it's possible you could chain altaria in the sense that you play your supporter for the turn and then you Altaria a supporter on top uh and because Marnie will be the only disruption supporter immediately that we know of when rotation hits um you could like go boss put a boss on top boss put a boss on top and do something like that so that could be really cute actually especially with echo horn something like that could work um especially knowing like the only hand disruption out there is uh the only hand disruption out there is uh what's it called Marnie so it'll you'll just draw into your boss anyway so that could be cool we'll have to wait and see for sure but some potential there for Altaria uh moving right along at the noivern i actually haven't read this card yet so let's read it for the first time together uh psychic energy boom bursts attack to 20 damage each of your opponent's bench pokemon so it's spread but pretty weak uh in terms of the current hp of pokemon and then uh 
synchro loud psychic dark if you and the you and the opponent have the same number of cards in your hands this attack does 120 more damage so it gets to 180 which once again i kind of talked about 180 doesn't really hit the numbers anymore all the v's have like 200 plus hp um so 180 isn't quite the number you're trying to hit anymore like we used to be we used to be trying to hit to ko stuff um with the gx's but yeah it's not that it's not the number anymore it's not the number anymore it's a little bit too low so if a v max once again this is another one if a v max comes out and the v max is good this, this could definitely see play um but we don't know if, if there is a v max yet so or it hasn't been leaked all right geraladon uh the other v max that we do know there is a v max of <laughs> with the uh, geraladon v um fighting metal 70 damage with the metal claw fighting metal metal a 140 during your opponent's next turn the fame one uh attacks do 30 less damage so not great of course but of course we're always here for the v max prevent all damage done to this pokemon by attacks from each of your opponent's pokemon that has any special energy attached to it so that's pretty strong that's a pretty strong ability to have but the problem is the attack is really awkward fighting metal metal uh g max pulverization 220 this attack is infected by effects on your opponent's active pokemon so only 220 damage no one hit ko potential uh, and fighting metal metal what kind of energy cost is that how are you attacking with this thing ever <laughs> like it's just not good as far as i can tell unless they come out with some other kind of support for the dragon pokemon which i mean this does seem to be a very uh, dragon centric set um who knows maybe we do get some more dragon support that allows stuff like this to be able to attack maybe we get dde back although that would be a little bit scary i don't really want dde around with rayquaza i don't think although rayquaza i think says basic energy doesn't it? so it might not be that bad basic fire basic lightning okay so maybe dd because it can't help break wouldn't be bad for the rest of the dragon squad um and yeah even like metal saucer doesn't even help this thing out because it's dragon type not metal type <laughs> so even metal saucer wouldn't help out your Duraludon. all right moving right along actually i don't know that yeah, we got a couple more to talk about uh raihan choose a basic energy from your discard pile and attach it to one of your pokemon search your deck for any one card and put it to your hand then shuffle your deck uh, you can only play this if one of your pokemon was knocked out during your last turn so there's some potential here the problem with cards like this in the way the game is headed is pokemon are worth three prize cards so theoretically your opponent only has to take like two knockouts to win games sometimes three so there's not a lot of time to use cards like this uh, and get really good value out of them so it could be good in rayquaza of course or maybe some of the other dragon decks but like i said when when your opponent's taking like two knockouts a game maybe three it's just kind of hard to find turns to actually utilize this for good value um so it might be okay I'm not holding out for this thing to be great but it could be okay we'll have to wait and see for sure it does combo well with Rayquaza's ability you know you just draw three cards um then maybe use another one draw three more cards find the Raihan um and then you use that and you drew all those other cards to go with it so you don't need to use like a research or something for your turn but yeah once again I'm not really holding out for this to be super powerful but I wouldn't be surprised if it is played a little bit here and there but it's not gonna become a staple in anything I don't think uh moving right along Crystal Cave once they're in each turn that may that player may heal 30 damage from each of their metal and dragon pokemon um so this is basically a reprint of rough seas if you guys know what that card does once again a really old card uh, it feels weird to say that i played so much rough seas back in the day with mega Manetric, but yeah i used to heal lightning and water pokemon this one heals 30 and it was still 30 damage this one heals 30 from metal and dragon so basically a reprint of rough seas um cool stadium uh i think luke metal would really like this but it's not going to be around while luke metal is still playable so i don't think we'll see that happen but yeah luke metal would love this stadium i'm pretty sure um so it's coming a little bit late for luke metal um but who knows we might still be able to see some uh some playability for this especially with like a zamazenta theoretically because zamazenta is kind of an awkward pokemon to get ko'd it's just kind of hard to ko zamazenta so you set up a couple zamazentas and you just kind of retreat between them using crystal cave and whatever other healing cards are available at the time um that could be pretty pretty crucial pretty pretty deadly like a quad zamazenta deck oh i kind of like that actually i might i might try and make that work once this uh once the stadium comes out i might try and make that work um and i think that's it um there's a turtonator uh but he's bad so that is it guys new cards leaked ray eels is back or basically back it's not exactly ray eels flaf quaza flaquaza or ray rayafi rayfi i don't even know um it's it doesn't roll off the tongue very well no matter what hopefully someone comes up with something better than i can for the name of the deck we could just always call it ray eels once again don't forget opening these two boxes of chilling rain on saturday which is tomorrow the day after this video releases um after the limitless tournament so i don't know exactly when i'll be opening the boxes um you know i'll put a tweet out i'll post on probably the the post page here on youtube um so go follow the twitter just follow the, the twitch channel in general because i'm gonna be opening both of these boxes of chilling rain i'm gonna be giving away all the hits so i'm sure you guys want to get in on that like i said 
So yeah, come out for that. But it'll be after the Limitless Tournament. Either I win the Limitless Tournament or I'm eliminated from the Limitless Tournament. Whatever one comes first, I'll be opening up these booster boxes. Um, and that's all I got, guys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow.